Louis. There's something I'd like to understand before we go any further. What is it that you'd like to know? First, know that you are not responsible for your father's errors. However, you must answer for your own actions. Uh-oh. I better tell him what he wants to know. Tell me, Louis, what is your share of responsibility in all this? Ever since I got here, I've done everything in my power to try and make things right. Thanks to me, Elizabeth is alive. And without her, I had no one to enable me to follow what was going on here. Do you think that you succeeded? When you got wind of William's plans about the conference, did you tell Gregory? No, but I had only been here a short time. I didn't trust Gregory any more than I did William. I came here for Sarah's sake, not to take part in all their twisted machinations. Certainly, but you made your choice. Deciding not to act is a choice like any other. So then, what did you do to thwart William? When William asked me to enter Piaggi's mind in order to send a false letter to the Pope to discredit Gregory, I didn't do it. Without telling William, I wrote a very different letter instead. I see. Congratulations. You did dare to take a few risks. We are almost done here, Louis. Tell me, in your opinion, what should I do with William? I think you should bury him alive. For an eternal being, I think that punishment would be fitting. Because according to the family rules, we're not allowed to kill a family member. I certainly agree with you on that point. He deserves no less. I see you have understood. I believe you have earned a place in our family. I cannot wait to introduce you to the others. But first of all, William must pay for everything he has done. Let's go, now. It's time to get this over and done with. <laughs>